Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team and I'm standing right in front of 21 Radford. We're in prime High Park location. We're just uh, a block or so f south of uh, Bloor and the, near the Dundas West subway station. We're in Howard Park School District and about two blocks from Roncesvalles Village. So pretty awesome location. As I mean by prime High Park, meaning all these gorgeous, you know, big towering oak trees, old style, these, all these houses were built about 100 years ago. Uh, nice Edwardian sort of style and as you come in you can see it's an extra wide uh, semi-detached that's been divided into two units uh, sort of duplexed and here you can tell as you walk in the front doors here uh, the house has had extraordinary amounts of mechanical upgrades and retained some of its charm and character so it's pretty amazing if you know houses you'll appreciate everything from you know the new doors and windows they kept this, uh, you know, leaded glass windows and some of the charm and character, but um, by duplexing, they actually retrofitted uh, in 2007, it passed the fire code retrofit. So here we are on the main level, nice high ceilings, as you can see, thermopane windows. Uh, that's actually a wood-burning fireplace here. Um, and they've got lots of storage, actually, a double front hall closet uh, and two closets here, too makes it easier. So it's been split into two units. There's a couple, there you go. See there's closets on both sides, right in there. Uh, two units and nice and bright and open. So it actually could convert uh, back to a single family pretty easily. That's up there is a Mitsubishi Mr. Slim air conditioning unit. Both units have that and they also have the rad heating. And rad heating in the, uh, you know, in the winter months is pretty amazing. It's very uh, efficient as far as you know, maintenance fees and costs and, and gas and all that kind of stuff, natural gas, but it also means warm, radiant heat, which is even and much preferred, to tell you the truth, by a lot of people, if you can also get those air conditioning units in here. So each suite also features two bathrooms. So it's a, here's the nice powder room here off the kitchen living area. Very convenient if you're entertaining guests. Nice big kitchen, surprisingly. It's very bright, it's a south-facing lot, so you get lots of natural light, and you can see in this kitchen, see all the storage and cupboards, and a big wide pass-through to the dining room. You know, you can see yourself having some great parties here. So I'll just sneak down here at the same time. Here we are, they've actually just rebuilt this back area. Again, really a great layout, actually. This is a two-car uh, parking back here, you can see here we are, this is the south facing lot that I was talking about and very quiet and very pretty, you know, if you've got dogs or kids it's fully fenced um, two car parking off laneway which is uh, much preferred as far as, oh, and that's a walk out to the front of the house it's preferred because, you know, you don't have to shovel too much on a private drive and it's nice and wide and easy access for, you know, your cars and as you walk down here you can see there's broad loom down as you go and there's a storage little closet here and and this basement has been is, is pretty amazing basement I have to tell you one of the nicest I've seen in a while what they did is they actually excavated and waterproofed put in new weeping tiles and there's lots of natural light you can see there's tons of windows throughout and this whole floor is um, radiant heat it's so, so it's in floor heating it's just yummy and cozy in the winter and you can see these bright window boxes. So this is uh, an open space. They're now currently using it as an office. You could have a, you know, that's a futon, pull out futon. You could put up some walls and make it a big bedroom again if you wanted. But if you wanted to as a single family, of course, it's nice. It's a nice open space. There's a walk-in closet here and this is sort of a semi-ensuite bathroom. So you can access it from the front and from uh, the bedroom over here. So it's nice and modern. Everything was done uh, since 2005. So this basement was all completed then. You can see there's uh, pot lights throughout. And each suite has its own laundry, which is a total bonus. And there's plenty of storage here, double closets. And there's laundry. There you go. Bonus. And this is that bathroom that we were just looking at from the other angle. And these floors are really cool. Anyway, I just wanted to also show you, if you wanted to uh, make it a second entrance uh, and you wanted to actually divide it into three units, you could because it's got that extra separate entrance. And here you go again, nicely lit, pot lights, lots of natural light here in the bedroom area. 
And of course, if you wanted it as a nanny suite, it would work. It would work as an in-law suite. You know, you've got lots and lots of options here. Or just as, again, just keeping for your family. And this is, this is actually where all the action is. The plumbing's been redone. You know, wiring, look at that fancy boiler. It's an amazing high efficiency. Uh, really low, 1800 bucks a month for, I mean a year for gas, which is extraordinary. And you can see how the floor has been lowered. So I hope you enjoyed your tour of the main and basement, and I'll take you upstairs next.